The long-awaited final report from the House Select Committee on Benghazi, written by the Republican majority, takes aim at the Obama administration for what it suggests are failures before, during, and after the 2012 terrorist attack, including those of then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. This unfortunately took on a partisan uh, tinge. Democrats on the committee preemptively rebutted the findings, calling it a waste of $7 million in taxpayer money a Clinton campaign spokesperson blasting it as a partisan sham. The report is 802 pages long, with 81 new witness accounts. What are its main takeaways? It focuses on three main areas. One, how, in the committee's opinion, the U.S. failed to recognize the growing security risk to U.S. officials and other personnel serving in Benghazi, Libya. Two, how, in its view, the administration responded inadequately to the embassy crisis that resulted in the deaths of four Americans, including U.S. Ambassador to Libya Christopher Stevens. And three, what the administration knew about the attacks immediately after versus what it communicated to the American public. On the issue of the administration failing to provide adequate security, the report says U.S. officials prior to the attack were well aware that the U.S. diplomatic facility in Benghazi was at serious risk. It didn't matter that one diplomatic security agent went to Benghazi, did his service and came back. And when he came back, he said this, it's a suicide mission. Everybody there is going to die. One Republican on the committee says, despite the known risks to American diplomats, the appearance of no boots on the ground was more important to the administration. The report also charges that the U.S. government was slow and disorganized in responding to the attacks once they were underway. And the people that go and they accept these assignments voluntarily, they know that there is an inherent risk. But the understanding is that their nation will move heaven and earth to save them. And that didn't happen. It remains unclear, however, whether a military rescue mission, had one been launched, could have saved American lives. The report claims high-ranking officials, including Mrs. Clinton, knew right away it was a terrorist attack and not a spontaneous siege prompted by... The airing on the internet of a very hateful, very offensive video. And they have to mislead the American people because it's 56 days before an election. At the time, President Obama was locked in a tight re-election campaign with Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. Records uncovered by the committee and released last year show Mrs. Clinton emailed her daughter the night of the attack, acknowledging it was an al-Qaeda-like group that attacked the U.S. diplomatic facility. Democrats on the committee argue that the Republican-written report is tainted by a partisan focus on Mrs. Clinton. For its part, the State Department says its spokesperson is working every day to internalize the lessons of Benghazi. That's the short answer.